in a row full of winners. I love it as all mirrors and take over like Castro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Take note in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make the split screen effect that you have just seen on screen. Before we get into the video, I just ask my guys to please with that like and a subscribe button for never turning the video. So leave a comment down below in order to help me make more money. So yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. This effect is going to be actually extremely easy to make. Uh, so please do make sure to, you know, share with your friends who might be a bit uh, uh, simpler to the mind, so to speak, uh, because um, pretty much anyone can do this. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just uh, mark out the beats that you have in your song that you want to per perform this effect on, essentially. So I'm using the song Yes Sir by 721 Gusto. Uh, and, uh, if you want to use the, use the same song, you can, but you can also just use any other song that has three beats just like this. Just make sure to mark them out just like this. And after that, we should be good to go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drag my clips in right here. I'm going to use the clips right here by Pluxky on Twitter. Uh, his link will be in the description or his app will be anyway. So what I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and do is just cut these out that I, the ones that I want to use. Please to make sure that the character is visible uh, when you are doing this because otherwise uh, it'll be a bit hard to actually do the effect. So uh, do remember to just do that. So we have this clip right here, we have that clip, and we have this clip right here. So um, hold on, right there. So now what you're going to go ahead and do is actually to sync these up. So uh, just decide which the, the first clip should be, like the, the initial background clip, and just go ahead and sync that up. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is just sync the uh, the shot up like that to the first marker, drag that out. Then we go ahead and make a new video track, just like that, and a new audio track, just go ahead and drag those up. Drag the second clip up like that and sync that up to the second marker. And that'll be right there. And then we trim that back to the first marker and then we end that. Let's see what the clap is. Right there. So everything needs to end on this right there. Now we do this one more time for our last clip, just like so. Drag that up. And uh, after that, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and sync that up here. And um, now this is going to be a bit easy, actually. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is uh, decide whether you are using Twixter or Velocity. Now, if you are using Twixter, you will have to render these out. Uh, for the simplicity of this tutorial, I will be using Velocity, uh, just normal Velocity. But if you want to use Twixter, uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is actually just apply the Twixter like Velocity and then go ahead and render that one out. So when you're rendering out a Twixter clip, you just go ahead and just isolate both of these. And then let's see, you have Twixter on this. Just go ahead and render everything out up until this point, of course. And then you just go ahead and drag it back in. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and just add velocity. So we have our first impact right there. I'm just going to add velocity right here. So one, two, three back. Right, that. Uh, and one, two, three forward. 50 on this and 300 there. So if we go ahead and isolate this layer, there should be some velocity right there. So now once we have this, we could just go ahead and do the same thing for the other clip right here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just add a marker right there. One, two, three. And one, two, three like that. 50, 300. And let's do that on the last clip as well. Uh, there. One, two, three. And just sort of roughly right there. 50, 300. Just like that. Now what you want to go ahead and do is actually just crop the top two uh, clips right here. So essentially, you want the entire first clip to be visible. Uh, and now these are going to come in from these sides. This is going to come in from the left, and, this, and the top one is going to come in from the right. So what you're going to want to go here is just go to the first clip right here, go to the mask, enable that, click on the first keyframe right here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Go to the rectangle tool up here and just select the middle area. Now you wanna make this a bit smaller than a third. So it should roughly be like that. You wanna make sure that it is centered like preferably like that. And yeah, that seems about right. Let's go ahead and maybe drag this out a bit more just so you can see what's sort of happening. Just like that. And just make sure that that is the only keyframe. Now we can go ahead and copy the attributes from this. So just press Control C on this track, and then go up here, go to Selective and Paste Event Attributes, and then go into the Video Event Pan Crop Settings and press uh, Paste. Now, once you've done this, 
uh, we just need to actually uh, add Blurmo curves to both of these. So we go up into our video effects tab and search for Blurmo curves, just like that. Apply that to the bottom clip, just the default. And what you're going to want to go and do from here is just go to the first clip and shift the X value to the left just until we have it sort of looking like that. And this is going to be our default value. This is going to be negative 330. So we're just going to keyframe that there and go to the second impact right here, the second marker. We're going to add that right there. We're going to go here and we're going to drag this further to the left. Now, if it stops right here, that is completely fine. What you're going to go ahead and do is just drag it to the, the furthest it can go. Then go down here, set this keyframe to fast. Just right click, set it to fast. And now we further change this value. So if it doesn't go down to, uh, if if we need to break down further, we just type that in. Maybe 0 0.6, then you 0 0.65. And just try to make it as accurate as possible. So um, maybe 0 0.65, maybe 0 0.5. Five, five, and let's do that and right here we should be good to go and that'll come in like that so uh now what you're gonna go ahead and do is once again just copy the uh the the, the attributes from here this by pressing ctrl c go up here select the paste event attributes and go to the video event effects and effect keyframes now this is not going to be the exact value so we're just going to go ahead and remove the negative right there and we just want to make sure that this is hidden as well. So negative 0, 0.66, negative 7, negative 7, 1, just like that. And now let's go down here because this is obviously going to be uh, just not right. So I don't know what's happened here. We're just going to want to fix this a bit. Uh, I actually have no clue what's happened there. All right, it's bugged out a bit. But yeah, it should be looking roughly like that. Now if you go back here... It should be completely hidden, of course. And now we should be good to go. So if we just go ahead and play this back, it should be like that. And then that comes in and then that comes in right there, hopefully. Yep, there we go. All right, this is Dignal editing the video. Uh, remember to add a drop shadow uh, before you render it out. I forgot to tell you guys, just apply any drop shadow. You could literally apply the default and it'll look great. Just, just apply drop shadow. All right, apply drop shadow. So now what you're going to want to do from here is actually just render all of this out. So just select all of it, file, render as, and then just render it out in your normal thing. So tutorial 08-08, then just go ahead and render it out to your normal render thing. Now, I don't know why the fuck it has that resolution. Let me just go ahead and fix that real quick. I'll just render it out in 1080p, fuck it. Um, and it should just render out very quickly, hopefully. Now, um... Let's just go ahead and hope that everything works out here. I don't really feel like trimming this because I'm very tired. It is 6.30 in the morning and me being a lazy fuck, uh, the lazy fuck that I am, I decided to wait until this moment in time to record. So yeah, it is what it is really. Uh, now, once you have rendered everything out, make sure that you don't have any impacts on this or anything like that. Uh, just go ahead and drag it back in on top of all of that so um i'm just go ahead and try and find this because like I, I i don't know why i did that all right just drag that on top right there delete the track and then just go ahead and either mute all of these tracks down here uh except for the audio tracks actually don't mute the audio tracks just mute the video tracks or just go like it depends if you like you can drag you you can rearrange these if you have like a main track right here it doesn't really matter just make sure that you can't really see any of those bottom tracks and you can see this one right here so now what you're going to go ahead and do is actually apply your impacts to all of these so just uh press s on all of these right there and i'm going to go ahead and apply my over edit impact to these now there will be uh my voting part one will be in the description if you are interested in that uh, in my opinion, it is slightly worse than what we have here, but it still works. So as you can see, if we just play this back, we get that. Uh, fucking brilliant. So yeah, that is really about it. It is a very, very easy effect to do. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure you leave a like down below as well as subscribe. Uh, also leave a comment, you know, fuck it. Uh, recommend me to a couple friends, maybe your uncle. I'm, I'm great with uncles, uh, grandmas as well. I love grandmas. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, see you guys in a couple days and peace.